stop the control. Now get on with it. Well, we're going to build a castle in 30 minutes on video just so you can see it. You can see the finished product. Everything has to have a plan, and here was mine. Well, as we approach this, here are the tools. We'll go into it later on the blog. But you have to peel styrofoam front all the way down to get your bare styrofoam. You can get it at Home Depot. Draw out a little plan like I did for this. Cut it out. Make sure it's out of cardstock. You've got your template, all four of the basic ones for this project. You can uh, use it to make longer segments so that you can cut continuously. You can also just lay it out, and here we go. I've laid it out here, and I'm using just a simple styrofoam cutter that I'd gotten at a local uh, Michaels, and it was $9.99. The sheet of styrofoam is something that I had picked up at Home Depot. I believe it was $7 for a 4 foot by 8 foot sheet. You saw earlier where I had to cut it or pull off the uh, insulation or the little front and back plastic sheets on it so you get the bare product. Here I am just cutting it out lickety split. The little clock in back started at noon on a Saturday when I did this project. So you can see that this project is actually going to be done in 30, probably 32 minutes totally. So I've just cut out the wall segments for the outer wall part and I'm just cutting the fiddly bits, the little inundations, so that they fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Makes it easier to stand up and to uh, stake it out. So you can see me putting it together there. Now I'm going to uh, clean up the pieces here and I believe uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is cut off the, you know, the, the bad part so that when I do the wall sections for the tower it'll be easy. Now what I'm doing is just cutting out the inch and a half wall walk. In other words the internal support where the soldiers will walk around the wall and uh, I'm just cutting out the base pieces for that that will reinforce the thinner fancier wall sections. Okay, I'm just about done here uh, cutting out the the wall walk that will go inside the wall and there we go. Cutting out the gate entrance there using the template that I'd cut out. I think I'll just uh, reassemble it so that we've got the... Okay, I'm going to do the tower piece now. There's four identical pieces for the tower. You can cut out windows and slots and doors and whatever else, whatever you want later. But frankly, what I like about this approach is it's quick, it's simple four identical pieces fit together and make a really nice tower and then you can embellish in any way that you want. So you just need four pieces. So I have the outer wall segments. You'll see that in the floor plans that I'm going to put in the blog site. Make sure that you go to um, rptoll.blogspot.com and you'll see a write-up on this plus the floor plans. But what I like about this is we've got the four tower pieces that I will assemble and uh, I've got this in I think six times real speed so here's the tower the four pieces for the tower I think I'm going to jump to a little bit slower speed as I put the rest of the castle together on my little uh, dinner tray here but there's the the tower piece and here comes the rest of the castle you have the or the in this case the desert fortress so you've got the outer part with the really nice crenellation. You've got the inner wall walk that goes around, gives your miniatures plenty of room to, you know, move along there, even putting a cannon or two out there. And I'm probably fiddling longer than I need to, but you've got the back tower, the wall walk, the wall walk, the wall that goes all the way around it. And this is just laid out and put together. And you can see, aha, it took me 32 minutes according to the clock. You may want to just pause it there. So now I've got some pictures coming up, the actual finished product just put together. you got to glue it, so just put on some good tacky glue. Use some toothpicks broken out and shoved in for reinforcement. There it is, glued all together. You've got an overhead shot here of you know, what it looks like with sand. I've primed it all in a cheap acrylic. That's called the Chocolate Castle, a buddy of mine said. I cut arches out to kind of give the inner wall some character. There it is from the back. Uh, here's primed in white. I've left it so you can open and put figures inside. And here's a 28 millimeter cutout. There's the final thing. If you want more detail, go to rptroll.blogspot.com. There you can leave your comments. I hope to have a lot of future buildings that you will enjoy.